Now, welcome back in fashion this morning. We're wrapping ourselves up cosy in preparation for the winter months ahead. Yes, stylist Joanne Costello has stayed with us. And Joanne, we're talking this morning about the importance of investing in a good quality coat. Absolutely. Yeah, that was what we were just saying earlier on. Like, I mean, that's where you want to put your money is in something that's going to get maybe about three or four years at least wear out of like And does that quality. mean not going for very obvious trends? Absolutely. I mean, if you're going to go for a particular fashion trend, it's only going to be in for a season, maybe two, and that's it. Okay, that's so don't spend wearing. a fortune don't on it if you are. Don't spend a fortune on that, yeah. Yeah, okay. absolutely. But there's a huge amount of um, value to be had out there. So if you want to go mad and go in the trends, you can get something. Oh, you can get amazing. the cheaper end of the absolutely. budget. Absolutely, you can get some. And we have some really good bargains here this morning as well. So yeah, you absolutely can. But again, as I said, you know, invest maybe two, three hundred euros in a really good coat, and that'll last you five or six years. Okay, great. Well, Christina is up first. Yeah. So our first look here is from Picket Fence Boutique in Dunshockland. And we're just starting off again with um, the beret, as we mentioned in the first half, very much in trend for this season. Um, this particular one has some lovely embellishments in it, picking up on the colours there in the coat and top. Um, and then just popping down here to this amazing coat, gorgeous kind of like a raspberry cerise type colour, really stands out. Blazer kind of cut, straight cut to it. Again, this is something that is a classic piece. It won't, um, it won't date. You could have that in your wardrobe for the next five to 10 years. Um, again, suits every body type. Um, that, that goes from an eight to an 18 and also comes in a navy. And if we can just pop off the coat there, we will see this lovely, um, it's a sheer blouse, really nice detailing on the sleeve there. We can see kind of like um, the blues on kind of effect on it and a really nice kind of cuff on it as well. Um, we've just teamed that with a little vest top underneath, but again, you could wear it whichever way you want um, with either a bra or something um, like what we have there. The um, gloves we have there picking up again on the detail that's in the beret. Um, and they also have um, the finger sensitive um, whatever you'd like to call them, touch sensitive for the screens for your oh, smartphone, so you yes. don't have to take off your uh, gloves for that. And um, then going down to these gorgeous, um, they're half leather, um, half fabric, um, which again, very fa flattering because they totally fit anyone's body shape. You don't have to worry about it. And it also breaks up the body shape as well if you're worried about your legs or thighs. Um, then going down to these um, gorgeous um, bourbon shoes again from the Amy Huberman collection. As you can see, lovely detailing on them there. Lovely kind of a silver uh, section on it and a nice block heel. Um, those um, le half leather trousers come in a navy as well. So really nice look and great wear out of them. They're so comfy. And then our next look is from Dan. Jack. Yeah, it's from Jack Dunn menswear down in Gorey. And we're starting off here with like the classic kind of overcoat. Really, really nice, very Italian look to it. Beautiful blue. It's a gorgeous colour, isn't really it? Really gorgeous. Teal. Teal. It is, yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, it really is. And it comes in a navy and a lovely bottle green as well. But again, really slimming. This is something guys will have in their um, wardrobes for literally years. You can wear that as it is there, kind of quite casually. Or you can, eat, a lot of guys now are wearing them kind of with, with hoodies and jeans out at night. So you can put the hoodie over because it has that slim look to it. So you can kind of go from a very young, funky look and then you can wear it literally to a very kind of formal event, like whether it be your office or, you know, some kind of formal event, you know? Joanne, then, uh, our producer Billy is making the point in my ear about the tag on the cuff. Um, and he's absolutely right. You do see men who leave this yeah. on the... It is it can we just clar clarify this? It needs to come off. It, it actually, needs to come off. My scissors off. comes out. I Gentlemen of Ireland, people. you can't leave this on your coat. <laughs> absolutely not. Just for this, this coat is going back. So. It's a bit that they put it on the outside anyway. I know, they always do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but but no. it's always done in really loose thread, so it's really obvious it's supposed to come off. Well, you would think. Like, I really judge people for not pulling it off yourself. <laughs> do you, I do. Have you done it yourself? Have you got reached over and said... No, I haven't approached them. Me. No, no, I haven't approached them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, scissors in the back pocket at all times. Let's send a strong message out this morning. <laughs> answers the question. Remove them on all suits <laughs> and are they coats and or are, they, are they jeans? Genus. These actually, um, they're actually a trouser. They're, oh, again, a check. We probably can, can't see maybe the detail on camera, but it's a really, really fine navy um, and black check. They're really, really lovely. Very slim kind of cut on them as well. So, again, very flattering um, to kind of all body shapes. That's the one thing with the kind of nice slimline uh, look. Every, it works for everybody. And the polo there as well is gorgeous, kind of a real Italian look to yeah. it. That also comes in a green. And again, the lovely oxblood That's brogues on them as well. So it's really fabulous. very kind of James Bond almost, isn't it? It is. Yeah. But so again, it's pretty simple. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And again, you can mix and match those, each one of those so pieces. So well tailored, well yeah. cut, lovely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And our final look this morning, Emily. Yeah. Um, so what's Emily in? Um, and this look here is from a Minx boutique. They're in Navan, Drogheda um, and Mullingar. And they're um, 
really, really nice look there. Again, we're starting with a kind of a little skull cap, a bit of a Burberry vibe to it. It has nearly a 1920s vibe to mm. that with the nice kind of embellishment on the top. That's from Pink Boutique, as, or, or sorry, Pink, Pink Accessories, as are all uh, the other accessories that she's wearing. Now, this coat is a gorgeous, again, duster coat. Um, this is something that has been in for a couple of seasons, and it's just great to throw on over any kind of a look. And it's something as well, if you are wearing a chunky knit, it'll work really well with it. This comes in, in a camel color as well. And if we just pop off the um, coat there, we see this lovely dress. Again, we're going with um, <clears throat> the um, animal print, like a leopard print um, dress there. Really, really wearable. Again, something that you could wear at the office, you could wear to a night out, you could wear to an occasion. Um, really kind of nice buttoning detail and on the um, front and on the cuffs as well. So price again, point. very, very, very flat. It is yeah. very, very good. 32 euros, you, you can't go wrong it's with that. It's very flattering shape, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely, and it hangs so well. Um, and then love going down to the, again the, the gloves there and the nice little bag that kind of just kind of you know sets off that type of look. And again going down to these lovely boots. Now this look you could obviously wear with a pair of stilettos um, or you could wear with long kind of high knee or over the knee boots as well that once they're tight. Um, and we just pair them here with a nice pair of ankle boots. Um, again nice little detailing there on the side of the ankle boot. Um, and again lovely block heel, really really comfortable. As it gets colder you could pop on a pair of kind of heavier tights with that nice. Yeah. kind of like black with opaques or knit even like you know yeah, we had a dress like that yesterday we were talking about layering and our stylist judy had a thin polo neck underneath, underneath one of those yeah. dresses yeah. and it actually worked really well you no know, you can do that yeah yeah that's the one thing but i suppose it has that kind of slightly kind of um deeper v in it so you can you can pop something under that or even a round neck looks good with just that finer just finer layers oh yeah you couldn't put it in bulky <laughs> it yeah. would not look well John, thanks mel gorgeous looks this morning thank thanks. you thanks